हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक ए लाइन बी लाइन एंड आर लाइन इन हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल कवर द हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन एंड द डिफरेंट लाइंस विच आर यूज एंड दिज आर नेसेसरी टू डेवलप हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड इन थ्री लाइन सिस्टम ऑफ हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन थ्री पेरेंटल लाइन्स आर यूज these parents are known as a line b line and r line a line is female line which is generally known as male sterile line means in these lines the male is sterile and it is not functional even if the pollen is available it has no compatibility to pollinate second line is b line which is maintainer line and third line is r line which is male line and known as restorer line and these all lines are playing very very important role in hybrid seed production here we will go through the utilization of a line b line and r line in hybrid seed production and how they are playing important role as earlier we discussed a line is male sterile line female line and b line is maintainer line which is fertile lines there is only difference of fertility between a line and b line and b line is used for multiplication of a line in larger volume so crossing of a line and b line will result in a line which will be male sterile line so this is the first step of multiplication of a line which is needed for hybrid seed production as a female second line is r line which is male fertile line so after crossing of a line with r line it will result in hybrid seed production which will be male fertile so we will study in details about importance of r lines and their functions in details first we should understand what is hybrid seed hybrid seed is the seed of f1 generation which is produced by crossing of a line and r line which are genetically dissimilar parents and the hybrid vigor and heterosis is the absolute phenomenon in hybrid seed production in hybrid seeds the characteristics like growth related traits flowering and yields are having the superiority of over its parents and there are some desired traits of hybrids because of which these are very very popular the hybrids are having the better yield they are having the greater uniformity maturity and improved quality and the by hybrid seed production there is selection of lines which are having the disease resistance insect resistance and having wider adaptations so these hybrids are playing very very crucial role in increasing the productivity and income level of farmers so the lines are selected based on the research where the heterosis and vigor is superior in hybrid seed production there is involvement of two steps first step includes the maintenance of parental lines as earlier we discussed there are a line b line and r lines which are used in hybrid seed production of three line system and its multiplication is very very important to produce the hybrid seed in desired quantity so their multiplication is important a line is multiplied by crossing with b line and b line is multiplied by crossing of itself and r line is multiplied by selfing and its pollination and second step includes commercial hybrid seed production where the male sterile line a line and restorer line r lines are used so now we will discuss in details about characteristics and multiplication of each and every lines now first we will study about a line as we know a line is male sterile line and it is having the sterility of three types 
फर्स्ट इज साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेल स्ट्राइलाइन सेकेंड इज जेनेटिक मेल स्ट्राइलाइन एंड थर्ड इज साइटोप्लाज्मिक जेनेटिक मेल स्ट्राइलाइन एंड दिज ए लाइन्स आर यूज इन ए टू वे फर्स्ट ए लाइन कैन बी मेंटेन बाय क्रॉसिंग विथ बी लाइन इन एन आइसोलेटेड प्लॉट्स एंड इट इज डन टू गेट द ए लाइन फीमेल लाइन इन द डिजायर्ड क्वान्टिटी टू प्रोड्यूस्ड हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन एंड फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए लाइन इट इज क्रॉस्ड विथ बी लाइन विच विल रिजल्ट इन ए लाइन विच विल बी मेल स्ट्राइल द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी लाइन इज ओनली ऑफ मेल स्टिलिटी ऑल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल बी सेम वेयर ए लाइन विल बी स्ट्राइल एंड बी लाइन विल बी मेल स्ट्राइल बट आफ्टर क्रॉसिंग विथ बी लाइन इट विल रिजल्ट इन प्रोड्यूस ऑफ मेल स्ट्राइल लाइन विच इज ए लाइन यूज इन हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन एज सेकेंड यूज ऑफ ए लाइन इज कंसर्न एंड इट इज यूज फॉर कमर्शियल सीट प्रोडक्शन वेयर दिस ए लाइन इज क्रॉस्ड विथ आर लाइन और इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज फर्टिलिटी रेस्टोर लाइन एंड इट विल रिजल्ट इन एफ वन हाइब्रिड विच इज यूज एज ए फार्मर फॉर कमर्शियल ग्रोइंग Here we will go through desirable characteristics of a line. There should be absence of functional pollen grains or rudimentary pollens. There should be abortive anthers. If anther sacs are there, it should be empty and not contain any functional pollen grains. A line should be highly synchronized. It should be uniform because it is grown in combination with R line. So there should be good synchronization. there should be no any nicking issues it will result in good seed setting and crossing there should be complete stable male sterility because sometimes due to certain changes there is breakdown of sterility which will result in contamination a line should have good outcrossing ability and it should have good combining ability and there are some desirable agronomic characteristics where the well developed floral traits should be there for outcrossing and there should be wide regeneration spectrum and it should be strongly restored for a longer time so these are the some desirable characteristics which are taking place in account while development and selection for hybrid seed production activities as we discussed a line is male sterile line and in hybrid seed production of crops like pearl millet bajra sorghum which is also known as jowar rice mustard sunflower castor sorghum sudan grass ssg a line is a sterile parent where the natural pollination takes place in case of sunflower female is sterile a line is sterile and there the manual pollination is done by hands with laborers in some crops like cotton okra chili tomato etc in conventional hybrid seed production the emasculation process is done to make female sterile and the pollination is done by laborers manually in all these crops cotton okra chili tomato there are some some gms line where female is male sterile and only manual pollination is recommended where there is no need of emasculation so in gms lines only pollination is done in hybrid seed production of crops like maize detesseling is done to develop sterility in female and wind pollination takes place where crossing is getting done by the pollen of male movement to the female silk so here detasseling is the process in maize where the tassels of a lines are removed and after removing the silk will be work as a sterile and its will be get crossed with pollen of only r line so these are the various systems in different crops as the sterility is concerned so in some crops already sterile lines are available while in some crops 
detasseling or emasculation process is done so what is emasculation it refers to the removal of male organs stamens or anthers or killing the pollen of a flower without damaging the female reproductive organ and it is known as emasculation in bisexual flowers emasculation is essential to prevent of self pollination now turn to understand b line b line is called isogenic line which is similar to a line and the difference persists only in respect to male sterility where b line is male fertile and a line is sterile so this sterility define the difference between a line and b line b line is known as maintainer line which is used to maintain sterility and in a line and it is required for the multiplication of a line and b line is used as a pollen parent some characteristics of b line can be defined as it should have well developed floral traits with large pollen load which is very very important for crossing of a line for the multiplication b line should have normal anthers it should have functional grains pollen grains and b line is multiplied by selfing so there should be seed setting while selfing and it should have good combining ability and a and b line nucleus should be same and the difference will only in cytoplasm and it is varying in both a and b line which decides the fertility and sterility and the b line is maintained and multiplied just by selfing where we can multiply the volume which is needed for next use of a lines for its multiplication and while crossing crossing with b line this a line will result in male ester line so b line is playing important role in maintaining sterility and multiplication of a line in desired quantity which is needs to cross with r line to get f1 hybrids now we will go through restorer line or male line r line r line is having the fertility restoration gene and this restorer gene is available in nucleus which restores the fertility of a line after crossing with r line r line is entirely different to that of a line and b line so the selection of a line and r line will decide the heterosis or hybrid figure because both characteristics of male and r line is the deciding the potentiality of hybrids restoral line is used to cross male r line and sterile a line to produce hybrid seeds r line is, is having very high specific combining ability effects so it is used to produce hybrid seeds and restoral plays an important role both in increasing heterosis as well as in increasing hybrid seed yield in seed production plots so the development of f1 hybrid is very very important for the selection of parental lines a line and r line the r line can be maintained just like normal varieties by following the isolation distances and field standards as r line multiplication is concerned it is done by selfing and where in r line are used to produce hybrid seed or f1 hybrid now here to focus on desirable characteristics of r line r line should have normal anthers and functional anthers and these should have a strong and stable restoration over season and locations so the r line should perform well and uniformly across the seasons and locations the r line should have highly vigorous plant growth habit with large number of spikelets and there should be complete dehiscence of anthers it refers to the complete release of pollen grains from anther sacs which is very very important for the pollen movement from r line to a line to result in better outcrossing 
there should be high amount of residual pollen abundant pollen producing capacity the arline plant should have profuse tilling synchronous heading and concentrated blooming of a spikelets to get the pollen grains in the desired way and crossing with female line arline should have multiple disease and pest resistance there should be good outcrossing and combining ability it should result in acceptable grain quality and having high outcrossing rates so these are very very important in hybrid seed production now we will go through some pictures of different crops hybrid seed production where we can show the snaps of a line and r line how it is used it represents the maize hybrid seed production and we can see here r line where the tessels which are male organs and in case of female the line is not sterile so the detasseling practice is done in maize because of which it will convert to the sterile line and the pollen grains from r line will pollinate the silk which is female organ in maize so these a and r lines are grown in different row ratio as per their characteristics and generally it is grown by the ratio of a female and male by 4 is to 1 to 6 is to 2 this picture represents the hybrid seed production of rice where a and r line are used in the ratio of 6 is to 2 a line is male sterile line and r line is fertile so here the r line pollens are falling on a stigma of a line and crossing took place in case of hybrid rice the pollen grains are bulky so sometimes there is difficulty in movement of pollen grains from r line to a line so supplementary pollination is one of the practice which is followed in hybrid rice seed production which is done by the means of sticks or by using the rope so supplementary pollination is very very important in case of hybrid rice seed production this picture represents the hybrid seed production of millet crop where a and r lines are used a line is male sterile line and r line is fertile line and millet is a highly cross pollinated crop where the complete natural or wind pollination takes place and the a and r line are used in ratio depending upon the characteristics of male and generally it varies from 8 by 2 to 12 by 2 ratio in case of sorghum also it same to the pearl millet where a and r lines are used a line is complete male sterile line and r line is fertile line and this is also cross pollinated crop where the row ratio of female and male is generally used from 4 is to 1 to 6 is to 2 this picture represents the hybrid seed production of mustard where a and r lines are used a line is male sterile line and r line is fertile line here the wind pollination or wind pollination is not resulting in a good yielding so bee hives honey bees are used for crossing and which is resulting in significant yielding this picture represents the hybrid seed production of sunflower where the a line and r lines are grown in separate isolated blocks and the ratio is maintained 75 to 25 within a line and r line and here the female is male sterile and r line is fertile and here for the crossing the male pollens are collected from r line and it is pollinated manually to the female heads so the cotton cloths or puffs are used and it is rubbed on the heads of female line and crossing is done so this presentation was all about importance of a line b line and r line in hybrid seed production hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much